Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I had some questions as to what app I use on my phone to get to um, the patterns. And I don't really use an app. Just wanted to show you, I go to the Facebook group, the Tango Lit Pattern Club group, and then I go to pinned post, which takes me to the pinned post. And then I click on the pinned post and it takes me to the patterncollections.com um, website with the uh, post about the da daily tangle and then I just scroll down to the daily tangle that I want and I click on that and that's how I get to the uh, sample that I'm going to use for the day so um, in case you needed to get there that's how I do it we're going to work on heart star. It looks like it's a circle with some guide line dots around the outside and then half a heart, the other half and then dots again to make the triangular shapes in between. And I don't imagine that I mean, this one has what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven has eight hearts but I imagine that it can be done with any number of hearts so we'll see what I end up with. Move those out of the way for right now. So I think I'm gonna just do one maybe just one big one. Let's practice what it looks like. One like that. And then my guideline dots. So here I'm going to go straight across and do here and then I think I'm going to go here and there. I'll go ahead and do the 8 I guess. Here and there and there and there. Okay, guideline dots. So then, we want to make our candy cane sort of shape, our up and down like that, around the whole thing. All on one side. Like a bunch of candy canes going around a circle. Oops, didn't catch that. Right up and around and up and around. And then do the other side. I think I'm going to turn my page going the other way. Make sure you're turning your tile. Don't twist your wrist into a funky shape. Just turn your tile so that you're going in a comfortable manner for you. That made those Heart shapes. Fairly simple to draw, didn't it? Absolutely. I've never done this particular one before. It looks like now in between each heart, somewhere up here, I want to put a guideline dot. tile. Okay, and then I want to go from approximately here on the heart, sort of halfway on the curve on sort of this side of it, up to that dot both directions. So I think I may do them all one direction first and then do the other direction because that will help me be more consistent and will give me that zen flow sort of thing that happens when you do the repetitions. And then the other way.
looks like it would be a relatively complicated pattern to do, but that didn't take hardly any time at all to complete, which was kind of nice. Oops, I want to I zoom in just a little bit on this completed one just to see. It's like they just took another pattern and put it in the background as a, as a guide here. I think I'm going to I'm going to take that off to the side because I don't think I need it again. I'm going to try to put one offset behind here. Like that. And then it would be there and there and there and there and kind of up there, 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 and then you're not going to see those, right? So, got some candy cane shape, and then you can't get to that one, and then this one, is kind of hiding back there, right? Yeah. Okay, then the other side. That one's not there, and then this one would be around to there somewhere right and then this star like shape is between and that one's going to go somewhere there that direction That's weird. I, the last one I did going the other way as my first line. And this one is fighting me a little bit. So that tells me that I, I'm more comfortable going the other direction first. So on the next time I make one, that's what I'll do. I'll make sure I do this, this left-handed side first before I do that right side because that make me less comfortable that way. Let's do um let's do another one. Not quite as much overlap or maybe way m more overlap? No. Maybe a smaller. Let's do a tinier one. Tall, skinny hearts, not as many of them, I think. I'll do six instead. So, tall and skinny this time. Give it a, a good long, good long candy cane. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to be a little congested again today. I apologize. Nothing I can do about it, really. It is what it is. Okay, and I think I want to make my little pointy star thing way out here this time. I'll just give it a much longer, skinnier point. This one would end up somewhere out here. So I just need to give myself that reference. I'll do it in pencil. And this one also is going to end up back behind there. <coughs> 
So if I need to draw this in pencil in order to make it the right, give myself a, uh, just a light pencil guideline as to where that, that line would go if I was drawing the whole thing, I can do that. And then I can just erase. That way I know these lines are going the right direction. the show here. These pointy oops triangular shapes. There we go. It's interesting how it looks different when it's a six than an eight. Very interesting. I think I'm gonna feel like it needs another one over here. Not not right there. Maybe this way a little bit. Another small one. Yeah, another small one. Really tiny this time, I think. And we're going to go to here. To here. Since it's so small, I think I'm just going to make four little hearts. Sorry if I'm bumping into you. I apologize. You should see how I have to put this camera and where where I have to place it in order for the uh, drawing to come out right, so that you can see my hand. It's kind of in an awkward place. I could try putting it off to the side. I don't know. Maybe I. I'll experiment with moving it again, but we're going to go here, and here, and here, and here. Right? Okay. So there's different ways you can do it depending on how many hearts you decide to put in there. Um, I'm going to erase my little bit of pencil and it's driving me crazy. I keep thinking there's something dirty on there and it's not. It's just that guideline that I'd stuck in there. Um, and then you can just embellish as as you see fit, I guess. I'm going to do some some aura work maybe. This one's going to go like this. Make the centers of these a little different each one, I think. Even though it was, it looked like it would be really hard to draw. It was actually quite, quite simple, which is good. Um, I think I want to make these triangular bits look with more depth on this one by adding a second, second line to it. That gives it a lot more dimension. Places to shade. Um, this one I'm going to do a 
spiral in the middle. And I think I'm going to do some kind of something right here on each side of the heart. hearts with sort of thin line across, I think. I like being able to use the really thin micron pens so that you can do tiny little spots like that. Um, you wouldn't be able to do that with a fatter marker. I think maybe, maybe in here I'm going to do a triangular shape. go this way. A little, little line and a couple of dots going down this way. Nothing fancy. Just a little tiny line and a couple of dots. Okay, I like that. I feel like it needs something in the background though as a completed tile. I might just put some ripped screen back here. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just do a little bit of ripped screen. How was everybody's weekend? Mine was busy. Um, I did have that memorial service I needed to attend. and Those are always, even if they're not physically draining, they're emotionally draining. It's, it's very hard to say goodbye to someone that you love and appreciate. You're gonna. I I know that according to my faith and my religion, that that the person that I love is is not gone from me forever, but is gone until we meet again. Um, I believe that. You may not. That's okay. I'm not gonna judge because um, you know we're all in a different place. Um, and it gives me comfort to believe this um, and to to know not really believe to know um, that this isn't the last I will ever see of, of, of Ed that I still miss him I, I'll miss his smiling face at church every day and I probably won't realize how much I'll miss him until it's been a while and then it'll be seem like, you know, there are days where, well, Ed, Ed would have done this or Ed would have done that. And 
Yeah, that's going to be hard. So other than my emotional day, the rest of the weekend went pretty well. My son's out of town, so it's kind of quiet here at the house. Husband did a lot of work around the yard. I could have gone out and helped him, but it was more entertaining to stay inside and watch. Ha <laughs> ha. And it was too hot out there for me. I I just can't can't do the days where they're over a hundred degrees. I just I'm I'm I, I'm a wimp when it comes to that. I have a very difficult time with the hundred degree days. So I stayed inside where it was cool, did a little photography work, did a little drawing work, played some computer games. You know, life isn't complete unless you've spent some time on Facebook playing computer games, right? I don't know if you guys have ever seen this ripped screen as a as a tangle before. I know those who have um, followed my beginner's lessons have because um, it's one of the ones that we did as a as a beginner pattern. It's really quite easy and and you don't have to think a whole lot when you do it. And you'll note that. That even all my ripped screens is pieces of ripped screen. It doesn't seem to be one giant ripped screen behind. I've got bits and bat, drabs and dribs and and uh, it's it's not a whole whole piece, which I I'm enjoying. Should move on to move on to shading, but I'm enjoying doing this part. Uh, this is this is this is fun. I'm having fun. And so, if you want to fast forward to the end and see how it turns out when I'm all com finished, that's great. You're free to do so. Um, I know I do that a lot when I'm watching other people's videos. I, I'll watch some of it for a while and then I'll say, well, okay, let's just scoot on by. Um, I've chosen on purpose not to edit my videos, not to um, fast forward and do them in all in real time, um, just so that they're you know how long these take. You know, a, a small uh, drawing like this, if you're being very detailed, can take uh, 30, 45 minutes, an hour. You know, it's it's not... Some people seem to think that it, it takes the two minutes that is shown in a video when it's um, fast-forwarded, and then and they get frustrated when theirs takes so much longer to do. And I had that problem at when I was first watching people's videos. It's like they go so fast, and I was I was trying to rush my drawings so that I would match the speed that they were doing. And then I thought, well, you know, this is silly because this is fast forwarded, and I don't know how much fast forwarded it is. I don't know if they're doing their their fast forwarding in you know twice as fast as they drew it, three times as fast as they actually drew it. 
I don't really know. And um, and I was frustrating myself in trying to draw faster than than I should have. Um, so I, on purpose, and 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 very thoughtfully decided I am not going to try to find any software in order to um, speed up my videos and make them shorter just so that they seem more appealing to other people because they're not super huge long. Um, you know, they are what they are. Oh, I need a little bit right here. And you can see me doing this and making thoughts and decisions in real time and, and how I approach things. And, and how I do it is not necessarily, quote unquote, the right way to do it. It's the way I do it. It's, you know, there is no right and wrong. This is, this is your art. This is you. This is your expression. You do what makes you feel good and makes you right. And if you want to use pencil, use pencil. And if you want to plan out the whole thing ahead of time, do it, and if you want to just let your pen go like I do and just it, whatever comes is what happens, do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make yourself happy. I've said that multiple times and I mean it. Make yourself happy when you're doing your art. I think that's... Turn it around and... and yeah, let's see, I've decided that this isn't, this needs something. I was going to be done. I thought I was done. And then I, my, my piece told me, no, you're not done. You got a little bit more work to do right here in this corner. So that's all right. Let your art talk to you. Start listening to your instincts. You you were created with with these instincts inside of you, and and they're they're right. They're right because they're right for you. They might not be right for everyone, but they're right for you. So listen to them, and it will be the expression that you want in your work. I like that. Well, let me find it before I get any further, and do a little bit of shading. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of shading on this one, but I am going to go around and make sure that, that all of my my little guys are on top of the screen. So that means going around the edges of all these shapes. And then I want to make sure that this one is on top of this one. So I want to make sure I've shaded around that. Same thing with this one on top of this one. Clearly the first one, whatever you draw first, is going to be on top. Unless somehow you manage to get some sort of dark ribbon or something over the top of what you've already drawn. But for the most part, whatever you draw first is what's going to be on top. So if it makes any difference to you as to where you place it on your tile to start with, um, you know, if you wanted your thing on top to be in the lower corner, well then don't put it in the middle to start. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Sometimes that don't make sense. Somebody has said that they appreciate my humor. I'm not sure I'm trying to be humorous. Well, well, I take it back. Sometimes I'm trying to be humorous. Not always. I am what I am. I am who I am and you know I figure if people don't like it they just don't watch. That's my my take on that. Okay, so what else do you think I'm gonna wanna shade? I think, at least on this one, my hearts 
are standing out from the bat. Like this. You know, sometimes I go back and I, I watch these videos after I've posted them. Because since I don't do any editing, I go back and watch and what the heck was I saying? Why did I say that? And I shouldn't have mentioned that at all, but you know what? It is what it is. It is kind of strange to talk to myself in my house like I'm talking to somebody else and I'm sitting here all by myself. It's a little weird sometimes. It's taking me a bit to get used to. Um, but I think I'm getting more comfortable at it. Some things I've learned I've had to do is be conscious, more conscious of the time I've had to set my alarm on my phone to do that. This camera will only take 20 minutes at a time a video. And some of these run longer than that, so I have to pause. And uh, the first few times I did it, I went long and I it, the, the video just cut itself off and it didn't tell me it was stopping. It just stopped and I went on my merry way and the last part of it never got recorded. So now I set my alarm. Um... dark right there, just on one side. It's just on one side like that, and... Maybe in the middle of this one? Maybe on the hearts of this one? Maybe on just one side of the heart. See, how you decide to shade it will totally change how the, how the piece looks. See, cho choosing to shade the hearts makes this one look different than choosing to shade, shade the um, triangle or pointy, the star-shaped part. I think on these, this one I'm going to shade just this side, right there. And that n makes that look different as well. Doing just at the pointy part instead of down at the bottom. This one I did down at the bottom, this one I'm up at the top, and those two look different. Not only are they, you know, shaped all slightly different, but they look different just because of the way I shaded it. And then this last one... I think I want... I think I want... 
here on the points. And I want right in the middle. Yeah, I like it. So that was, uh, I don't even remember the name of Tangle. What the heck was it? It was Heart Star. And yeah, not bad.